Hello everyone, in this video, uh, we are trying to learn about array and list charts in our engine. So this is the quick demonstration of the process and we are trying to go through the codes available from our engine guides. In our engine, we have the function ui.chart.array.values for generating the charts. And for this function, we need array and list data. And for generating array and list data, we have this function ee.reducer.toList. So we use this ee.reducer.toList to create the array and list data. And they need to have the same length, uh, meaning uh, both the variable x and y uh, need to have the same length. So here is the first uh, sets of codes and we try to go through them. So the first one here is the selection of this level forest. Uh, we have the feature collection. And then we have this modis data being filtered with two dates start and end it. We are selecting from uh, band uh, first band to band 7. So we can see here uh, the way to select all the bands. Uh, inside these single codes we have this uh, we have this number 0 to 7 within the big bracket. So this selects uh, the band first to band 7. And we calculate the mean of all those uh, image collections and this gives us one final image and from that image we reduce the region and we have the reducer ee.reducer.toList dot dot to list and this creates a list and we have the geometry uh, we assign this dot geometry to the int to this uh, variable uh, to create it as geometry and we have some scale here and then we select the two different bands band 2 and band 6 uh, and these bands are assigned to the y values similarly we also have this band 1 assigned to the x values. So for the uh, two bands here, we are also using this dot to array and this uh, converts these two uh, bands to as the array. And finally, we can use this function ui.chart.array.values and inside this uh, inside these brackets and further inside these curly brackets we have the first array as these y values and the second sets of x level second sets of x levels um, as the x values and then we have the other uh, other address tree here such as dot set series names uh, providing the two different names then we have dot set options inside which we have the title, colors, point size, data opacity, and horizontal um, and vertical axis in which we will have some titles. And if we run this, we get something like this. So here we have the x and y graph and we plotted this uh, two different bands in the y uh, y axis we had the two different bands and in the x axis we had the single band so this is the very first result of the curves so we can still try this to other um, other set like that as well and other image collections. Then we have the same uh, thing continued from the previous one. Here again we are selecting the forest level. We have our uh, modis data filtered uh, and 
uh, band selected and finally generating the min uh, image then we convert this uh, modus image um, into the list and then here we get the two different bands we get the band 1 we get the band 6 and this is converted into the list ee dot list and this time uh, we are providing a list uh, in the array and this generates the graph here so we can see that it has generated the um, this um, uh, this graph uh, titled to licensive among spectral bands for forest pixels so this is uh, the scatter plot of two different bands. Then we have the thought sets of chords. In this sets of chords, we want to uh, generate the graph along the line. So the generation of the line chart will be along the height and along the latitude. So first we have the um, first we have this line this e dot geometry dot line string um, draws some line then we have this function e dot image dot pixel along let and this function uh, creates an image with two bands longitude and latitude. So we have this image, uh, this is the digital surface model and we are selecting this, um, this band here uh, which relates to the height or altitude and then we add this band uh, dot add bands uh, adding this function here and this creates a two different bands uh, from that. Then uh, we reduce the region we have the reducer as ee dot reducer dot to list and this converts uh, the bands as the list our geometry is the line and we have the scale and from that uh, reduced uh, variable we get the longitude we get the um, altitude band and this are again um, being done as the list by ee dot list uh, then we select the longitude and sorry we select the uh, we sort the uh, values here by dot sort and by this sorted longitude we also sort the elevation and then we provide this um, two different uh, variable to this function here we in the x level we will have this longitude value and in the y we have the elevation so if you run this so here we have the longitude and here we have the elevation so the latitude here sorry the longitude here um, longitude here is um, is usual to do with elevation so each longitude has some elevations so this graph is the uh, is, is showing that uh, line chart here with elevation in the longitude. And we have the fourth sets of chords. And here we have the image collection lines today. Uh, the expressions are filtered with uh, path and rows. Then we select these two different um, image properties one is the cloud cover and the other one is geometric or Emerson model and this is done as list and from that list we get the uh, we get the first one and the second one that is the cloud cover and geometric RMS model and then we provide them into the um, X levels and the Y um, axis and then we can 
from this. So we get something like this. And then we have the last set of codes here. And in this we are creating a graph for this sine function. So we, here we have the start variable minus 2 multiplied by the pi. And also we are also ending the value with this plus 1 here. And then we have the points sequence. And uh, here we have the 50 increments. And then we uh, map the function here. And this function evaluates or uh, does this uh, sine function to each value in that sequence. And that values are added in the y and the uh, points will be in the x. So if we run this, we get this one here, something like this. So these are the uh, some of the codes that we can see in Arthur and Guides, and uh, we can try them in other image collections as well. And these are very helpful for us to learn and. Uh, we also saw some new functions here, and I hope this was helpful to you in learning some of the new things. So, thank you for watching.